Hey guys, so we just got out of Valerian and where some films we get out and we immediately, like I'm excited to talk about how much I loved it or whatever. I'm excited to talk about how much I fucking hated this fucking movie. <laughs> like Becky and I have been yeah. staying pretty true to the spirit of this stuff by not talking to each other during the film and it hurt. Because yeah, I wanted dude. to just groan and fucking moan the I whole time. I a couple times like... Oh my god, and you know what makes me the angriest? Like, okay, let's get this across right away. I fucking loved Fifth Element. Yeah. So, going to this, I'm like, great. Yeah, the I love The Messenger. But I go into this, I'm like, oh, Luc Besson returns to sci-fi. This is going to have... And I knew I wasn't going to get Fifth Element. I yeah, knew it yeah. wasn't Fifth Element. I knew it wasn't the same universe, but same director. And it comes from a French source again. Like, I thought it would have very much the same theme and inflections and like feel it did and it did seem like it had the same feel it did, it did for a lot of it and i think that's what makes me so angry is that it started off so good the beginning yeah. i was like excited i, I looked know, over at becky too. i'm like oh, those guys it, like he definitely got the same person who uh, he used for fifth element to do the costumes and the aliens and i was like this is going to be so good and it has like some of the campiness from the beginning that you saw in the fifth element, yeah. like from the very beginning of the fifth element. And the it was beautiful. Like it has that neat, interesting mixture of like high tech and low tech where like you see really cool spaceships and stuff, but then you see guys but running around plastic. like with crappy helmets yeah. that like are jangling all over yes. their head and stuff. And it's like, yeah, I was feeling it. Me too. And even the very beginning with the characters, I was like, uh, the, the two main characters, I don't know what their names are. Valerian well, I, I mean, I just don't know the actors. Oh. And I was like, at first I'm like, okay, this it's a little rough, but maybe I'll start to like them as time goes on. And that's what killed it. Yeah. That's what absolutely, like, incredibly killed it. Like, there is no oh charisma God. or spark or any kind of chemistry between the main the two leads well and also they couldn't do much without writing yeah i think it was the it's it's one of those instances where it's hard to decide who to blame i know that valerian city of a thousand planets comes from a long and storied and beloved comic book uh from france and i don't want to like i feel like i'm gonna be pissing off a lot of french fans because luc besson and beloved comic book series yeah I don't know where the blame lies. I have a feeling the comic book is better than this. I have a feeling, like, because the source material, if you look at the world around, and that's, again, what's pissing me off, it looks like a world I want to get invested in immediately from the beginning. As soon as they go to the market of a the million markets or something yeah, or whatever yeah. that place was, I was like, this is inspired. This is so cool. They're, like, existing in two dimensions at once in order to to, like circumvent oh, a black a market smuggler from like stealing this thing and they're like undercover space cops and stuff and like how do we get to our normal review place becky wanted well, to take like, a different route there. i don't know why we're i thought it was this, this way no oh. not at all okay we can go let's just go over there it's quiet um we're taking a different route because becky's afraid of security now well, she doesn't want to get in trouble because she thinks that the security Although guy's gonna, gonna tase me or something like too. that yeah technically all right anyways and it starts off really good like that, but then they start talking. <laughs> and oh my god. Like they wanted, okay, look. Maybe it's fatigue at like there's too many pluckish rogues to compare to and that this guy had a lot of competition, but like he just does not evoke the pluckish rogue. He has no charisma, nothing like going on for him. Like he does these no. smirks and smiles like we're supposed to be like, oh my God, so charming. He's the next generation of Han Solo or whoever the fuck it is in, in Guardians of the Galaxy or oh. fucking pick any pluckish rogue from any film. Nope. It's so bad. And again, I don't, I think the actors are probably good. They're probably yeah, good actors. Yeah, yeah. They're probably what they were given. They did with what they could. And it really lies with the director. But the and and also the screen Luc adaptation Besson. was done by Luc Besson. Yeah. It all lies with him. It has to. There's no way this comic book is that and bad. And it doesn't make sense because he <laughs> loved the comic book apparently. And whenever he was filming Fifth Element, the he was taking inspiration from the comic book. He was. And the people guy say who even wrote Star the Wars comic, took inspiration yeah, from yeah, the comic book. Apparently. I've heard that like, like this comic book, like that it just it's weird that it's named after him too. <laughs> It, What's his name's Valerian. 
Oh, is it? So the series is called Valerian. It's all about his escapades. Mm. And A City of a Thousand Planets is just one story arc within that comic book. Oh, okay. Anyways, and like the thing is, like I'm so like interested in the plot. I thought the plot was great. Like the overall plot. Yeah. It was just the writing was so terrible. And the, del like, yeah. it just, it was bad. I don't know what else to say. It was just so campy, but not campy in the good way, the way that he did it with Fifth Element. Dude, the writing Fifth Element was with horrible. Chris Tucker and like those scenes were campy as fuck and yeah. really lame and over the top, but in a good way. Yeah, why the did stuff that with work in this? Gary Oldman, not. he was such an, a ridiculous and like campy character and overacted, but in a good way. Yeah. It's like Luc Besson's lost something, he, he can't recapture it. It's like it's gone. He has, he's trying to, it feels like. But he's not getting it. It's he's yeah. lost his old spark. Yeah. It makes me really sad because you can see where these two sort the source material and Luc Besson of old were well like made for each other. Um, he self-funded this too, Luc Besson. So he clearly it's loved the source material, but it's just like I don't know who the girl and the guy are. I really can't feel like I can blame the actors, but it's. At the same time, Luc Besson is so convinced of their charisma or like their charm that he almost felt as though the writing didn't need anything better or something. I don't know. That's what it feels. I one thing know. I want to ask is, which one of the cast members do you think he's, Luc Besson's fucking? I was well, trying yeah. to guess the whole time yeah, which one too. he's fucking. Me too. D and definitely the princess. You think it's the, the princess, the CG princess yeah. is the one he's fucking? Yeah, definitely. The female lead would be the obvious choice because of his history. My guess, though, is the, you know, the, the Asian guy on the deck oh, that yeah, whole yeah. time was that, yeah. like, you think him. It's him. Yeah. He's too bad an actor to not be being fucked. <laughs> he was chosen off a runway. He's a model, definitely, yeah. and he was put right there. Right. Was the girl, the female lead, a model? Yes, she was. Okay, so, yep. like, that's his MO, right? And you She's can still tell. Acting, though. Oh, I'm sure. Like, in lots of, as we've seen with, with uh, Mil Jovovich, lots of, right. they, yeah. it, she was an incredible actress, especially in The Messenger. But, like, and there's moments where you can see that she has acting chops if she was only given something worth acting out. Yeah. Um, and you can pick out through the whole, it's funny because sometimes you can't see the art for the artist, and in it you can pick out who's a model throughout. You're like, model, yeah. model, yeah. model. It's like, there's a buddy, there's a friend of his, that's somebody he was told to make into a star, like, all throughout. Yeah. And, I don't know, like, I, I, some people consider him a creep and a hack. I've I never bought into that. I've always accepted. I was like, you know what, he is what he is, his shit's entertaining, I don't care. Now I'm starting to get a little fatigued at it because his shit's not entertaining anymore. Yeah. Um, Aesthetically, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. And... Uh, 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 but there was a little bit of a clash in his, like we were talking about his stuff, like that, the, the how he does like high tech and complicated and intricate, but at the same time, the, the you know, the artist or whoever he gets, I don't know the costume designer, but whoever the, the person who puts all that shit together, who directs that part, aspect, uh -huh. um, it clashed with the beautiful CG. The CG was almost too good too nice like the people's faces and then like you get and they also it was kind of like the star wars complex where you're mixing the these two different media we have a big truck going by with a really high pitch i'm sorry sorry guys we didn't choose a good place today i'm gonna walk up nah i don't want to be near people either fuck it um <laughs> but like uh the mixture of those two just didn't jive yeah, yeah we're I in fifth sorry. element i think it was almost 100 percent like I can't think of any CG in it, and I'm not, and you guys know me. I'm not an anti CG guy. I think when it's done right, it's great. And the CG in this was pretty good, but it was just mixed with that style of like, you know, even the little bombs they used near the end had those little. Mm, yeah. They looked like they were like you could buy them at a dollar store, and it's like I like that about that style, but it mixed with the CG, it looked wrong. Right. Um, it, there was good things in it anyways, though. It's a visual feast. It is. You gotta just tune out the acting and the writing. And the Again, story. Again, I don't blame the and actors. And most of the plot. I thought the plot was good. I thought the overall plot uh, was okay. It, just what it was. The plot was fine. It was the exposition and the beleaguered, slow okay, exposition yeah. that was that hurt it. They paced it wrong. Yeah, I guess the plot, the overall plot was decent, but it was like... They beat you over the head with a plot that wasn't hard to figure out. 
Yeah. They... And that didn't, Barbara, you were like, what a twist. Yeah. I didn't even know that was supposed to be a twist. Was it supposed to be a twist? I don't know, but so they obvious. acted... This isn't a spoiler. Like, it's just that when a thing happens, you're like, huh? a thing is revealed as though it should have... Like, I was like, obviously. We'll get to it. There were good things. The beginning scenes are really good. My yeah. favorite by far. I want to re-watch the market scenes. Yeah, that um, was so because it, cool. there was so much going on. It has that element of like a sci-fi film where you're dropped into a world where you, it feels like they've like come up with everything. They have an answer for everything and they have like a lore behind every character that you see. Kind of like mm. Star Wars. So the first time I ever encountered that was with like their first time they went to Mos Eisley is seeing every alien is being like, what's his story? What's his story? Yeah. You saw that in that market. And it was such a well-designed world. What were you going to say? Just that part where he's flying and he goes like through uh, through buildings like this. Yeah. I was like, Star Wars did it. Oh. <laughs> like he's <laughs> new sci-fi fan and she's already old hat. She's already uh, well, seriously, tired. Though, of the, oh. Wasn't it like... No. Exactly. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like, totally. Um, so I can't it's hard to I'm gonna start getting into spoilers but first before we stop that so you can tune out if you're going to see it I can't recommend this one unless you oh if you're a fan of the comic I almost feel like I have to recommend it less not even knowing how he treated the comic I can't imagine this being nope. and remember That's I went into this don't. ready for French like you know the French always have sort of like a style and a yeah. feel to them that's a little... Fraser bit... can always tell if something's been made by... Yeah. It's got a feel French. to it. And I was ready for that, too. I was yeah. ready for that sort of... Again, the, basically the charm that I, I found in Fifth Element. Charm. Yeah. yeah. By the way, did you notice that some actors were speaking French? They dubbed it. Oh, you really? You could tell sometimes their mouths were wrong. I think, like, some actors spoke French, some spoke English. The lead huh. actor spoke English, but there's a lot of side roles that speak French, and they dub over. Like, oh, the guy who was notice. torturing, he was speaking French. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh, no way. So that was interesting that he did that. <laughs> but again, like, I don't know. Go on a cheap Tuesday, maybe, if you just got I some time no. to waste. I say no. There's so many awesome If you're choosing between this one and Spider-Man, or this one and Dunkirk, which we have yet to watch... Um, I have a feeling that you should choose one of those instead. Uh, but anyways, all right, we're going to get in spoiler territory now. Um, not a lot to say, I guess, in terms of spoilers, but, um, well, what was I going to say about the twist? Oh yeah, the twist where the guy, they fucking revealed that the, the dude was in the chair when he made the decision to blow up a planet. That it felt like he was revealing like that was a big, like, oh my God moment, like, Maybe he didn't intend it that way, but it felt like that and just made you roll your eyes. There are so many eye-rolling moments in it. Just I couldn't believe constant. it. Constant. They believe that... It's Basically, just... Basically, any time the lead characters talk to each other and they're trying to be, like, cute and quirky towards oh, each other... Oh, and she's just a like, fucking bitch. No, stop. Oh, my God. Yeah. That she's one just... Point, that one point where she was like, I'll let you go tell the... Yeah. You know, guys. Whatever. The he's character... The fucking major... No, yeah. that's why he's doing and the, it. He's the major. Her character's supposed to just be like this, like... They went so heavy on the girl power with her, and if yeah. I was a woman, I would just be embarrassed. Like, it's just... It's sad. It's it like, it's my dumb. turn now. It's like, this is just embarrassing. Yeah. Like, the way that he decided to write a female. Yeah, I thought it was... And it was poor. to do that. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Shut and, up. oh, by the way, another thing. Mm. With Luc Besson... His themes, I guess we're not really going to spoiler. I might put a note in the comments because we didn't really, I don't think What's there's spoilers spoil? to talk about. Yeah. I'm going to put in the notes that we don't really go into spoilers here. And I'm going to yeah. tell the audience to just keep watching because we're just really talking about the overall film still. Yeah. One thing I wanted to say is Luc Besson's tone, his auteur signature on a film is so transparent. It is so clear what the, the theme is. It's like if only we would let perfect creatures like supermodels run the earth everything would be more peaceful remember fifth element it's like yeah. the perfect being and it's like this like and just humans are brutish and gritty and grimy but superhumans such as supermodels are better than us and if only allowed they could live on a perfect planet on a beach somewhere creating endless energy with their little orgasm critters yeah. that orgasm when you feed them and like multiply things that is just it's stupid and then he'll go and 
Come on. It's funny because he sees himself as one of those gritty, oh, grimy, yeah. fat, short, oh, gross so? human beings. If you see Angel A, which I've only seen trailers of, it's basically that. <laughs> the contrast. I'm sure, having not seen Angel A, that the protagonist in that film represents Luc Besson and how he sees himself. This, like, little creature next to these perfect beings, supermodels. He worships them. <laughs> his relationship, his life has evoked that mentality and that theme, and he puts it into the into Valerian. I don't know if Valerian had that inflection to begin with, Yeah. but it's there. It's this, like, perfect creatures. Like, and then, oh, we should talk about Rihanna. She, was, she actually did a great job. In her small moments, Rihanna. She, she was the dancer. That was oh, Rihanna. Yeah, I didn't. Know In her small just... moments, where she got to act, where she got like she actually showed pretty good acting chops. I don't know if she's acted before, but she like, like went from like normal to tears like really well in a believable way. Yeah. Where she's playing that creature or whatever it was, but like she did a good job. I can't I have no like. Idea that was I saw her in the trailer and I was like, oh my god, fuck Luc Besson. <laughs> you got to put everything that you like in it eh? with hopes that you'll fuck it. Yeah. But I actually think that it worked. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that and part was pretty cool actually. The thing could have been it was long, though. cut down so much. It just got so long in the tooth towards the end, and the the. Sp- Splendor and like curiosity that you get from this rich world starts to go away as time goes on because they show less and less of it. Mm-hmm. At the beginning, they just blast you in the face with all of this detail, and then as it goes on, they get deeper into the place, and you see less stuff. It's just kind of dark and cave, and it's like yeah, it's true, you're right? starting to get hungry in your mind. Your mind, like at first, which is overwhelmed, is like, give me something else besides these long drawn out scenes between these two bitching at each other. Um, I don't know what else to like. I mean, I've, I, I really, I almost, I want to read, I, I want to see Valerian. I want to I read the comic because I yeah. think that the concept from the square one was really neat. That the space station got so big that they're like, you know what, this is a time capsule, that and they send it out, and for once humans were the and the ones who like spurred off the conglomeration yeah. of species. Where yeah, in so cool. many tellings, humans are just the side note and we're so ins- insignificant and compared to all the other aliens. Way later. Yeah, like yeah. Mass Effect or like. So many stories, it just feels that way. But in this one, it felt like humans actually were substantial and we mattered. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of neat. It was like a different thing that I haven't seen from sci-fi before besides like, well, I guess Star Trek kind of makes you feel like humans are the best. But I don't know. Anyways, um, that's about it, I guess. Not much else to say. Uh, I'm severely disappointed. So passionate about it because, like, you've seen me with us with video games that we dislike. It's because there was something there oh, yeah. that could have totally been great. Was. You could see it, and you felt it just melting away as it went on. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 come back, no, it's gone. I would say watch, like, the first 20 minutes. And then go out, and I think most theaters will give you your money back. Yeah, do that, <laughs> do that. If you can do that, do that. <laughs> All right. Oh. See you later, guys. I'm sorry to our French fans. Oh, you're cute.